As part of our Celebrate Memphis series, we're highlighting heroes in our city and in our history. Rebecca Butcher spoke with the daughter of a former deputy fire chief who was not only one of the city's first black firefighters, but also a notable figure along the road to affirmative action. This was him in his office at the uh, fire prevention office. Carla Jean Stotts will always remember her father as a hero in a cape. He always taught us you are no better than anybody else. Her father Carl Stotts was one of the first of 12 black firefighters in the city of Memphis where he carried over that sense of respect and fairness. One story Carla's father told her stuck with her over the decades of the then Owen College on fire. Stata Station responded ready to save lives but found the victim's largest fear wasn't the flames. The co-eds didn't want the black firemen to touch them so they jump out the window rather than letting them touch them till other fire stations came to help on the scene. Stotts went from driver to lieutenant and ultimately director of fire prevention. But the promotion to the top after years of experience wasn't an easy fight. You might go to a fire station where somebody didn't like what you were doing, so you faced some discriminatory practices, which he did. Mr. Stotts faced discriminatory hiring practices at Memphis Fire. He filed a class action lawsuit resulting in a consent decree which forced the department to promote and fairly compensate black firefighters. In 84, a Supreme Court decision carrying his name started the backlash against affirmative action. The affirmative action and the way he attacked it and thought that uh, Everybody should have an opportunity. He felt like people who just came to the job should not be promoted before people that had been there years before. And one of the biggest lessons Carla learned from her father, no matter what happened yesterday, carry on and share is what she hopes is his lasting legacy. I would like my father to be remembered as the man who leveled the playing field. In Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher.